once you're in this dashboard view, make sure that you see the TN at the top left, that red logo that indicates that you are in your teacher account with the state. You have three options here. You have courses, groups, and resources. Courses are the courses that you have written or joined. Groups are professional learning groups that you can join. And resources is the area that houses your personal filing cabinet. So all of the things that you want to keep will go into resources. We're going to look at all of these, but let's look at groups first. I want you to join the AE Instructors group and the ESL group. So let me show you how to do that. You're going to click on groups up here and then over to my groups. This is on the right corner. And I'm already in these groups, so you won't see these right here. But let me show you how to make those appear there. So we're going to click join a group. That's right here. And it asks for an access code. And we're going to talk about these in more detail. But the first access code I want you to type in is for the adult education teachers group. So it's going to be the number two and then in all capital letters R as in Romeo two Sierra Hotel Mike Delta Victor Dash Victor Juliet seven five and the letter Q. That is the access code for the adult ed teacher group. And then go ahead and click join. And it's telling me I'm already a member, but yours should show up as the teacher group. Okay. To join the ESL group, here's the code. Romeo Nitro Plaza 4 Delta 6 Nitro Kilo Dash 5 Charlie 9 Kilo 6 This is for the ESL instructors group and then again click join so you have two professional groups that are showing up now in your list of groups. You can also search the school groups. These are groups that belong to the state of Tennessee's program. So you might want to join some of those. You can also search public groups that you might want to be part of. These are groups from all over the world, so there are hundreds of them, probably tens of thousands of them on there. So feel free to browse those. You can join those groups just by clicking on them. But you have done the task on page 7 and are now members of two learning groups.